Hey everyone, Paul Bertarelli reporting from Sun and Fun 2023. You know, anyone who has ever built an airplane or even flown a general aviation airplane has probably lusted after a turbine engine. The problem with that is they're very expensive, they're not particularly fuel efficient, and nobody builds a small one. Well, a company called Turbaro, it's an Australian company with some research facilities in the U.S., is trying to fix that. And last year I reported on their developmental engine and a year later uh, we checked in with Bernie Breen to see how far along they are. Uh, currently in the developmental process on the engine, we are in the prototyping stage. We're getting parts from the various manufacturers that we've uh, negotiated and contracted with to make the various parts on the engine. Us being the designers and you know it's through to, to uh, final drawings and then best of breed manufacturing around the world. So we're currently, for example, we're putting together, assembling the gearbox. We got all the parts for the gearbox now. That was the latest uh, piece of news. And other parts are being uh, manufactured now that'll be coming in so that we can finish the assembly of the prototype engine and get on the test stand a pro we're, we're shooting for, our latest number is Q1 of next year. We are trying to bring to market an affordably priced for initial acquisition and then operational cost. Trying to make a turboprop that's appropriately powered for smaller aircraft. Uh, people have converted other aircraft using what was available out there and what it would give you an example Lance Air 4 guys went out and got Walther 601s and went from a normally aspirated IO 550 310 horse engine to a 700 horsepower engine because there was no appropriately powered turboprop available so we're trying going after all those goals deliver an engine that makes sense for the smaller airplanes that is affordably priced for step one acquisition and then secondarily the fuel burn is reasonable to the point that they can go yeah okay with the benefits associated with the engine the reliability factor zero vibration fuel moving parts all these things yeah it, the value price proposition makes sense what this this is designed for this first iteration, our 200 horsepower engine, flat rated, D rated, 200 horsepower at, uh, on the runway, 200 horsepower at 8,000 feet. We feel like this is gonna be a, a great direct replacement for 320s, 360s, anything that has that on it now, this engine's appropriately powered for. When we went out to look for, and I was doing this along with my CEO, just doing a search for an RV-14, anyone that was looking for one at that time, and even now, realized it would substantiate the fact there were no RV-14 kits, just, just nothing. I even contacted people that were in the process of building or whatever that I could find, because I, I joined, of course, their, their uh, online forum and that sort of thing. We could not get one, so we decided, you know what, we'll go to a seven. Well, now I can get a 14. As a matter of fact, uh, we have a line on one that someone had in the queue, already ordered, it, that's a multiple time builder, just finished another 14, and he's offered his 14 that's coming in May, at least the first iteration of parts are coming in May, and we've also con contracted with him to help build it, because we're not, that's not what we're in business for, building airplanes. So down in Diamond Head, Mississippi, this person will come down there. So we're gonna provide housing for them and that sort of thing. And they're gonna build the aircraft for us. So that next year, we'll be here with a 14 and hopefully at that point, a real engine. What our timeline, our latest projected timeline is, is to have this on the test stand Q1 of next year. Depending on what we find out there, our next step obviously would be to put it in a test bed aircraft. And that's what the RV-14 would be for us. So, de again, depending on what we learn on that uh, static test, whatever cha remedial changes might be required from what we discover there, we hope to get it on an airplane, our RV-14, and up in the air before Oshkosh from next year. We'll see if that happens, but that's what our projection is. If uh, this aircraft was on the runway as it sits, it, it flew, it, the engine runs, all that 200 horsepower, 
and next to it is an exact same air, aircraft with a 200 horsepower IO360. If we both fly up to 8,000 feet, where we still have 200 horsepower here versus the, the piston engine that now is down to approximately 150, if we power back to 150 horsepower, we're burning 12.6 gallons an hour. So not equal to, but close to. Now with that, we'd be flying faster because we're gonna be more aerodynamic because of the re new cowl that someone would you know, put, put on that aircraft, that sort of thing. So we're going faster, we're burning slightly more fuel, but within reason. But then if fuel is not your primary concern, you've got another 50 horsepower. But we are projecting our selling price to be $85,000. In the event you're interested and would like to find out more about what we're doing, please visit our, our website. You can just Google turb.aero and it'll come up. And if I can make a recommendation, consider registering your interest because what that does for you is save you a place in line with no cost, no obligation. We are not accepting any money from anyone until we actually have a running engine.